Hello artists. Today in art, we are going to be working with primary colors. Can everybody say primary colors? Primary. Primary means first. So they are the first colors we need before we can make other colors. We have to have them. They're like the little building blocks. So we have red, yellow, and blue. And when we have those three colors, we can make other colors with them. For our project today, in just a little bit, we're going to be making a really cool spider web with spiders that are crawling on our web. And we're going to fill in some of our web with, you guessed it, primary colors. What we're going to start with is, in the middle, I'm going to have you draw a little dot. That's going to be our starting point. We're going to draw a line from there up to the corner there and down to the opposite corner here. Then we're going to draw a line from the dot up to this corner and then down to this corner. Don't worry if your lines are not perfectly straight. Mine are not either and we're not going to worry about it because it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Now this dot from here we're going to go up to the top like that and then from here we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to do one more line through the middle. So we're going to go from that dot over to the left and from that dot over to the right. This kind of line is a vertical line this kind of line is a horizontal line, and this line, and this line is a diagonal line. All right, we are gonna use some curved lines to create our spider web. So let's just start here at the top. We're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna do a curvy line like this, like a smile. One. And we're going to do another one in kind of in the middle of this section. Two. Do you see how I left space? I didn't put them really close together. And then we're going to do one more up top. Three. Like that. So we have one line, two lines, three lines. Just remember, it's a curve like a smile. Then we're going to do it over here. The trick now is that we have to connect it right here. So think of it still like a smile. We're going to do a curve like that and a curve like that. And then this one won't connect up here. So we're just going to curve it over like that. Now, the easiest thing is probably going to be for you to turn your paper. Now, tall ways. Remember, we want it to connect at the bottom. And remember, it's like a smile. Curve. 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 And then the same thing here. It's like a smile. Curve. Curve. Oh, here's a big giant smile. Curve. And then we're going to turn our paper. Curve. 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 And now we're, oh, this side we can still do. Curve. Remember, connect it right there. Connect it right here. Curve and do one more up here. And then we're gonna turn our paper one last time. And we're gonna do a smile here, a smile here, and a smile here. And we're gonna connect the very ends here. Smile, whoops, I kind of missed, but that's okay. Curve, whoa, and then curve. Now, if you had a hard time with that, please don't worry. 
I have drawn a lot of spider webs over the years and practiced them. And the more you practice something like this or any kind of drawing or really anything, reading, writing, drawing, anything, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Now, we're gonna take a black marker or um, you could use a black pen, something like this, like a ballpoint pen. I wouldn't use a black crayon unless that was the only thing you had because it might smear a little bit when we use our crayon colors. You, um, you could use a black colored pencil too. That would work fine. And we're gonna trace over our lines. So remember we started in the middle. That, well, actually I might start at the top and work my way down because I don't wanna smear my marker. So if you're using marker, you might just wanna start closer to the top and just start tracing your lines. One line at a time. Like that. And remember how we turned the paper too when we were drawing our spider web? Feel free to turn it as you're tracing. It might make it easier for you. that line but that's okay it's hard to see it from the angle So I have all my lines drawn. And while I have my marker in my hand or my pen or whatever I'm using right now, I'm gonna draw a little spider, maybe even a couple spiders. So let's see, where could we draw our spider? Hmm, I think I'm gonna start with one right here and I'm gonna give them a bigger body and then I'm gonna draw a smaller little circle for the head and then I'm gonna make some legs coming out maybe some kind of go behind them too Let's see one two three four five six seven Eight. Ooh. And then we could even have one that's working on spinning the web, couldn't we? We could have part of the web coming down. And we could draw body and its head and add some legs. So feel free to add a couple more spiders to your web if you want to. That's up to you. And then what we're gonna do is we'll move on to the coloring part. For the project, you're gonna need to use just the primary colors. So think back to those videos. What were the primary colors? Red yellow and blue. All right, so we're gonna pick one of those colors and we're going to color in one of the sections of our web with that color. And we're gonna color really neatly. Like this. 
Okay. And I'll color in another section with my yellow. And I'll color in another one with my blue. And I'm just gonna keep going until I have a lot of the web colored in. You don't have to have every single little space colored in on this. Um, you might want to use a little, leave a little bit of white just for the contrast so that you have a little difference between the white paper and the black spiders and then the color that you're putting on here. But you're going to go ahead and work on the whole picture and then I will check back with you when we're all done. So artists, you should be all done with your project. If you haven't finished coloring in what you want to color in, you can go ahead and do that. Pause the video at any point. This is kind of what it looks like when it's done. I left a few of the spaces white because I like that. I like the contrast of the white with the yellow and the blue and the red. Um, you might not want to leave a lot of white paper showing though. You might want to try to kind of color in a little bit more throughout your whole paper just to kind of keep it interesting and to get our practice with what kind of colors? Primary colors. Hope you had fun today. I'll see you next time.